I, I would really like to see them practice more playoff style football, mm-hmm. especially in their past game. Because when the chips are down, two seasons in a row, Lamar Jackson has not played well in the playoffs. Yeah. Whether it's scheme or or whatever it's going to be, you can't. They played the whole season ahead. Yeah. So everything was easy. Mm-hmm. Then the first time you really get down is in the playoffs against a hot team, and all of a sudden your season's over. Well, I also think that, and we talked about it with Jalen Hurts, is that, like, unfortunately for some of the, you know, more athletic quarterbacks, I feel like from time to time, and they may or may not admit it, but visually it looks like they're trying to prove something. It looks like they're trying to show, I'm going to win from the pocket or whatever. Watching that playoff game, literally play after play, I was like, what is he doing? Like what? It what is he doing with this 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 scheme? This offense? Like he was he was. I think he had like a hundred yards on the ground. And but most yards of that was rushing. in the second half. He he could have rushed for like three hundred yards. Mm-hmm. They were literally saying, "Hey, okay, so we're gonna rush you with three or four, and we're gonna drop everybody back. And remember that one guy we're gonna have to spy you. We're only gonna do one, and you can beat him every play. So like once he started doing it in the second half." He was embarrassing the spy and then rushing for 20 yards. If they're going to play you like that, make them pay with how you win. Like, don't try to do something different and let them dictate to you. That's why the Patriots are so good. They say, no, 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 this is how we win. We're going to force you to change, and then you're going to be outside your comfort zone. If if he continues to be in that spot where they say, we're just going to throw a bunch of DBs, because that's what the Chargers did. They threw a bunch of DBs on the field. They rushed them with two or, or with three or four, and then they said, you're not going to be able to throw because you're going to have no passing lanes, and then when you run, we're going to rally and tackle you. He just has to remember that he's the best athlete on the field. If they try to do that, embarrass this corner and get out of bounds for eight yards and a first. Right. I think the league is, especially the head coaching positions, are built on offensive coaches. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of good defensive coaches out there. Yeah. And you, you're able to see year after year, they're adapting more and more to the trends. Mm-hmm. So the running quarterback stuff, they're able to take care of it. The Wildcats, they take care of it. Spread, they've started to take care of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so so you hope that they haven't passed up that part of it where they have to be more traditional immediately. Right. right. Uh, they should still be good running the ball, but he's still got to be more successful in with uh, with the ball in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see them as, you know, that 12 and 4. Well, yeah, I think that's style reasonable. team. Mm-hmm. I would like to see him get another receiver though. Is it, yeah, I mean, you see they, they were working out with Antonio, Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown. Yeah. Oh, that team's going to be nasty. They keep, they, <laughs> you, you know what the Ravens remind me of? Remember, remember, like, a couple of years ago before people started coming around? Oh, yeah, crack that open. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> The, the Patriots, how they would just get anybody and everybody. And then they kind of started to get to the point where people were like, oh, it's not as fun or whatever, and that got publicized. But, like, for a while, the Patriots got literally any person who was ever on the free agent list. Like, that's kind of how it feels like the Ravens. Like, they're trading players away and getting guys like Calais Campbell where it's like, wait, what? Like, how are you getting these types of players on your team? Like, I got. I kind of wouldn't be shocked if they got Antonio Brown somehow. Like, I don't think it would be yeah. a great fit at all. Like, I think it would be an awful fit. But like, if they were to do something like that, like they're becoming that team that people want to play with. Oh, they are for sure. They have the most dynamic player, the best athlete in the game. Right. Um, they were really front runners this year, though. Mm-hmm. Mark Ingram was big talk, and then they got punched in the mouth mm-hmm. by Derrick Henry. And right. Big trust. <laughs> <laughs> they got clowned. I don't see uh, that being a repeat, though. Yeah. I'm not, they're, not, they're not doing the same thing they did last year. Yeah, they're not running through the entire league. 